Basically, the, the talk was about finding the regions in the brain which activates uh, during the relevant, explicit relevance judgment tasks. And uh, in this study, we uh, look at topical relevance and we try to see what are the uh, regions of the brain that actually uh, corresponds to the relevant assessment compared to non-relevant assessment and how this is different. So during the past 40 days, in 40 years, uh, there has been many research done in IR and also in information uh, science community to understand what is the nature of relevance because uh, uh, as, I, as I said again, uh, it's, uh, relevance is a human notion mm -hmm. and like any other human notion, it's very hard to grasp and hard to define. And because it's a very key concept in IR, it's important to have a better understanding of it and the way we should look at it is inside the brain of people and see how it happens. So basically that's why we got these opportunities to have access to MRI scanner and therefore look into the brain of people and see how actually the relevance uh, is processed and which brain parts are activated during this. Yeah. And uh, how these uh, research results could be applied maybe? So it has uh, two implications. First implication is uh, in a theoretical level, mm -hmm. where uh, it helps us to better understand what are the parts of the brain that activates, and therefore what are the functionalities associated with this part of the brain, so we can better understand when a person judge a document as relevant, as if not relevant, what sort of process it goes and what are the steps. But it also have, uh, a practical implication that can lead to a new way of uh, relevance feedback techniques. And this is what you expected from Moscow snow in March? Well, I heard about snow a lot, but I didn't expect it to be that <laughs> snowy. So, so yes, it's really similar to what I've seen in the movies. <laughs>